Shreya Majumdar and today we will learn about the top 5 interview questions which are being frequently asked. Let's move on to the first question which asks what is a subquery? A subquery is a query within another query. The outer query is called as main query and the inner query is called a subquery. Subquery is always executed first and the result of this subquery is passed on to the main query. Therefore, we can also say that a subquery is called a nested query. For this purpose, we will consider an example. The example asks for the last name and the first name for those employees whose country is USA. The execution of this query will involve the operation of an outer query and a subquery. Let us first look into the execution of the subquery, which states select from office code from offices where country is equal to USA. The result from this subquery is passed on to the main query, which selects last name, first name from employees. And finally, we receive our required answer. The second question asks what are the different types of subqueries. There are mainly two types of subqueries. One is correlated and two is not correlated. A correlated subquery cannot be considered as an independent query, but it can refer to the column in a table listed in the from list of the main query. Whereas a not correlated subquery can be considered as independent query and the output of subquery are substituted in the main query. What we conclude here is that the main difference between correlated subquery and not correlated subquery lies in the dependency factor. A correlated subquery depends upon the outer query and cannot be executed in isolation. But a not correlated subquery doesn't depend on the outer query and can execute in isolation. The third question says what are joins in SQL? A join in SQL is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them. It is used to merge two tables or retrieve data from there. A join clause in SQL corresponds to a joint operation in relational algebra. Moving on to the fourth question, which asks what are the types of joins in SQL? The first type of join is inner join. Inner join in SQL is the most common type of join. It is used to return all the rows from multiple tables where the join condition is satisfied. This statement is very clear to us from the diagram itself. The second type of join is the left join. A left join in SQL is used to return all the rows from the left table but only the matching rows from the right table where the join condition is fulfilled. The third type of join is right join and the right join in SQL is used to return all the rows from the right table but only the matching rows from the left table where the join condition is fulfilled. Finally, the fuller outer join states that all records when there is a match in any of the tables. Therefore, it returns all the rows from the left hand side of the table and all the rows from the right hand side of the table. The next question asks what is the difference between a cross join and natural join. The first point of difference between natural join and cross join is that a natural join joins two tables based on same attribute name and data types whereas cross join will produce cross or Cartesian product of the two tables. The second point of difference states that natural join is a resulting table will contain all the attributes of both the tables but keep only one copy of each common column. On the contrary, in cross join, the resulting table will contain all the attribute, both the tables including duplicate columns as well. 
Finally, in natural join, if there is no condition specified, then it returns the rows based on the common column. And in cross join, if there is no condition specified, then it returns all possible pairing of rows from both the tables, whether they are matched or unmatched. I hope you had a good time listening to the different fundamentals of SQL. Please like, share and comment. Thank you.